This morning, investigators are questioning the man behind a deadly terror attack in Lower Manhattan, an attack he apparently committed in the name of ISIS, just blocks from the World Trade Center. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. 29-year-old Saifullo Saipov is in custody. The suspect, police say, is responsible for killing eight people and injuring more than a dozen others. This was an act of terror and a particularly cowardly act of terror. Shortly after 3 p.m., authorities say Saipov drove a pickup truck rented at a Home Depot in New Jersey onto a bike path along Manhattan's busy West Side Highway. He drove nearly a mile from Houston Street to Chambers Street, running over cyclists and pedestrians along the way. Mangled. One gentleman's leg was hanging by skin. The other gentleman had tire marks going across his chest. The suspect eventually crashed into a school bus carrying special needs children. Two of them were injured. There, he got out of the truck, brandishing a pellet gun and a paintball gun. A police officer is being credited with taking Saipov down, shooting him in the abdomen. Were right there up. kids around? Yeah, there were, there were a lot of kids. I mean, like I said, I first found out about it from a, a young, probably five, six-year-old girl yelling that he has a gun. And then the mother was, you know, very, very scared. I ran to the window and I see a car. I see people dead. I see bicycles on the floor. Witnesses say Saipov shouted, Alo Akbar, during the attack. A note left inside the truck says the attack was committed for ISIS. But so far, police believe Saipov was acting as a lone wolf and not part of a larger terror cell or plot. Saipov, an immigrant from Uzbekistan, moved to the U.S. in 2010 and held a green card and a Florida driver's license. A friend telling NBC News Saipov has been living in New Jersey, working as an Uber driver. Uber says it's cooperating with the FBI's investigation. After the attack, President Trump tweeted, the suspect is a very sick and deranged person. Hours later, he tweeted again, I have just ordered Homeland Security to step up our already extreme vetting program. Being politically correct is fine, but not for this. Governor Andrew Cuomo focused on New Yorkers' resilience. We've lived with this before. We felt the pain before. We feel the pain today. Uh, but we go forward together, and we go forward stronger than ever. Overnight, the spire of One World Trade Center lit up in red, white, and blue in honor of the victims. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.